Movie theaters are finally back and it's possible that HBO Max's business model is running out of steam. So here is your weekly movie update. Godzilla vs. Kong opened last weekend, and it is great to finally say that movies are back. The movie cost $200 million to make and made $280 million worldwide. It has to hit $400 million to finally make a profit, but it is safe to say that audiences are finally ready to go back to the movies. To drive this point home even more, Godzilla vs. Kong is one of HBO Max's same-day releases, meaning that people made the choice, although it was on at home, they actually sought it out in the theater. Also, HBO Max feels like it's in a weird place right now. HBO Max has had two huge pushes this year. The first was the Snyder Cut of Justice League, which got a huge subscriber boost, and then it is the same day releases that they are now saying they're going to be doing away with near the end of this year. I mean, they kind of have to. It just isn't very practical. People are definitely going to go and watch these big, high-profile, big-budget movies in the theaters before they're going to watch them at home, and I think the numbers for Godzilla vs. Kong right now are showing that. Personally, I think that HBO Max is going to have to look for something else to be on the cutting edge of the streaming game. Disney Plus still has all the Marvel TV shows that keep them ahead, and and then Netflix is still just absolutely killing it with the production deals that they're getting. Netflix announced this week that they are paying half a billion dollars for Knives Out 2 and Knives Out 3. Ryan Johnson is getting $100 million of that and total creative control. Daniel Craig on top of that is also getting $100 million, which if you put his salaries together of every single Bond movie, almost doesn't even touch that. Most people, even Netflix, are acknowledging that this is overpaying for it, but they're not paying for the content itself. They're paying for making sure that everyone knows that they have total control whenever it comes to creating new and innovative content. Thank you very much for watching. This is 5 Minute Critic, and be sure to subscribe for updates on reviews and movie news. We'll